Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today I want to take a look at the Alwyn Fit True Wireless Earbuds. So these earbuds come from a Kickstarter project. Uh, they are a company, Elwin is a company that creates earbuds, headphones for several of the leading manufacturers and they decided to create um, their own solution. Now as you have seen on the channel and you can see in every paper um, during the Black Friday and Cyber Monday that there are a lot of products that are starting to appear that has the, have this form factor. In other words, earbuds that rest in your ear and they have no wires. Right, so they've eliminated the cord, and this is definitely one of the uh, ones that have done that as well. Now, many of the earbuds that are on the market have, in addition to playing music, have a lot of features and functions. Some have built-in GPS, some have heart rate monitors. You know, they have fitness, so they can determine if you're doing push-ups, sit-ups, whatever. So there's a lot of intelligence going into these. The challenge that they have run into is when you add and pack all those features to something that is this small. And we're talking about this big. When you see them, you run into problems where uh, battery life is kind of not there. So most of these solutions come in at 1.5 when it comes to battery life and I've reviewed uh, some here on the channel where they have longer battery life but the earbuds are too heavy and they're kind of uncomfortable so this uh, the L1 takes a different approach these are pure audio earbuds that don't have any of that smart technology but by doing that they get um, extended battery life which we're going to talk about and then they also are very um, comfortable to wear so let's go ahead and look at the specs and let's talk about the earbuds. So the first thing we're going to highlight is the fact that this happens to be probably one of the most customizable earbuds that I've seen to date notice all these accessories here that's 48 fit accessories that are going to allow you to change the ear gels to different types from foam to to silicone um, ear stabilizers that are in ear ear or out of ear stabilizers and this is really important to me and I find that um, it's in, uh, very ingenious of this company to include so many different options because what I hear from the reviews that I've done in the channel and the products that you've purchased is that you always don't get the same fit uh, keep in mind that our ears are different so you know your own ears your left ear from your right ear may use different size gels and you know if you look at these ear stabilizers that you may have a small medium and large but in this case you have small medium and large of different types and styles that are really designed for all different type of ear types. So they've really taken uh, customization to the next level, giving you a lot of different options when it comes to getting the right fit. So you're definitely going to get a good fit here. Now, the other thing I'll just bring up is the uh, the fact that it has both onboard battery and then it has this thing that's called an infinity band. So you're going to get around uh, two to three hours of usage from the earbuds. And it's been around that from my usage. And it's because all the earbuds do is play music. It does not have um, Google integration. It does not have integration into Siri. In other words, you don't push a button and then it automatically activates them. You have to go to your phone for these things. Uh, it uh, does have the ability to take phone calls. So you can press uh, the button and then on the earbud and it will answer the phone call, uh, but it's going to answer it only from one earbud. So it's going to take it from the right earbud. The other one, you're not going to hear the phone call. So it's kind of like a mono type uh, um, type phone call which is not bad because um, again you know the purpose of these for me is, and for many people is not to use them as a headphone for taking phone calls but this is when you're out in the gym if you're wearing your gear s3 and you or you're wearing your smartphone and you know you're working out and you get a call and you want to answer it or you're on a run the performance has been um, okay you know with this so I, I don't really find these things to be extraordinary when it takes it comes to taking phone calls but you know that's one thing to highlight uh, it also has, um, because it focuses on, on the music side, I think that's why they're getting that extended battery life. Now, when you see here and it says, you know, up to six hours, it's because the band itself is the recharger. So you're going to see that in a couple seconds and we'll highlight that. Uh, a couple other features that you're going to see here is, once again, built-in mic, Bluetooth 4.2. It does high definition um, audio, and I know every box claims that. We're going to talk about the audio in a couple seconds. And then it is IPX4 certified for sweat and uh, water resistance. So if you do get wet in the rain, you don't have to worry about anything. Now, if we to uh, take a look at the uh, packaging, uh, here you have your earbuds. You have the infinity band and you have your case here. Uh, again, highlighting all the different personalization options that you have. And what we'll do is we'll take out um, all the uh, components and we'll see uh, what's included. So um, here what we have are a lot of things. Um, we have all of our ear gels. So you can see, um, I'm not going to open them all, but 
quite a few different ear gels that you can choose from as well as ear stabilizers for on-ear or over-the-ear type um, support. We also have our a dual charging cable, so a USB that has two connectors for each earbud. We have the earbuds. I'll take this out so you can see them. And you'll see that they do already have um, an ear stabilizer. This is an in-ear stabilizer, as well as silicone earbuds that you um, can, uh, you know, just try them out and see if they're the right size for you, or you can personalize it. We have here the what they call the infinity band. And this is an infinity band that's used. It has a USB charging port here, micro USB charging port. Uh, and this is a battery solution that's going to charge uh, these earbuds. So the one thing that you'll notice with this implementation, so we have the earbuds here uh, and the infinity band. We don't have a charging case. And that's because the band is the charger. So you have that there. And then you have a little, um, it looks like a little setup guide. So now let's go ahead and talk about the earbuds themselves. Now, um, this specific model of earbud is going to come out of your ear just a slight tad, a little bit longer than some of the other ones that we reviewed on the channel. You'll also notice that this is an in-ear uh, canal model, as we have seen with all these models. Uh, one thing I will say is that from a noise isolation perspective, it does a really nice job of noise isolation because of how the design is. Uh, you'll notice here that you have a, uh, a button. This is your control button. In the front here is where you're going to do your uh, micro USB charging port is right underneath here but this is your on and off button. Uh, these are very, very light, very light earbuds, so, um, they, and they feel very comfortable in the ear, but when you're having them in your ear, they're going to be facing down like this. So you have those. Now, the neat thing about this is that this is not only a... You could go with this mode, and again, you're going to get about three hours. With this, you'll get about six hours. And the neat thing is, as I've been reviewing some of the other earbuds, I tend to run out of power... Um, and then I have to put it in the charging case, and then you have to wait until you get a charge before you can use them. The nice thing about this band is uh, this entire thing is IPX4 uh, certified. So you can actually connect these and charge the, the earbuds as you're using them, listening to music, taking a phone call in the club, and then unplug them, and then you'd have a full charge because this thing would be charging. So this is going to be used as a charger or as a battery extender to the actual earbuds. So now the... Uh, here you have the, the unit that's going to perform the, the charging, and you'll notice that they're currently charging. You can see that they're both doing that right now. You can see how they plug in. Uh, so literally what you would do is um, this would be uh, behind your neck, and you'd be wearing these um, in your ear. And it will be no different than a lot of the, um, the earbuds that have these bands, support bands. The weight from this, I can tell you from actually uh, wearing it for a couple of workouts, is that it's not uh, something that's very... I say troubling or bo or bothersome. Um, if you are going on a run, this is just me personally. I don't like anything on the back of my neck bouncing up and down. And this, even though it is weighted, um, I just don't like the feel of it uh, back then. That's just my my personal opinion. Uh, but besides that, the fact that you can connect them and you can see they're charging and that this maintains a charge really extends the battery life and the overall utility of the earbuds. So now, as you look at each unit, you can see that each unit has an identifier. Which one is your left and your right? Um, you can see that over here. You have your micro USB charging port, um, and that seals nicely. You know, once you have that in, uh, you do have on the top here a function button that you can use. Let's make sure that's in camera. So there, you can see right there. Um, on this side, you have the same thing. Um, so you have your your USB, and then you can see right there you have your function button as well. So that's going to be the power button on each one, and when you take an incoming call, now. The uh, overall, I have to say about the fit, let's talk about that for a second, very, very lightweight. These are probably one of the most lightweight earbuds that I've tested so far. Uh, fit is fantastic. Uh, I complained about um, some of the other units that I've reviewed on the channel where they were a little bit too um, heavy. Um, these are not heavy at all. Uh, the battery life is great uh, because, again, it's more about a music player and it's not so much about a fitness tracker. So you're going to have um, good battery life. The combination of this unit uh, that's going to serve as a charger as well as a battery extender makes it you know worry free when it comes to using these for the gym or any kind of extended workout now let's talk about audio quality uh, from an audio quality uh, awesome I had to say uh, very very impressed with the bass we're talking a deep bass uh, which I did not expect from anything this small so deep bass um, I would say really solid mids crisp 
uh, highs. Um, overall, great audio experience. Again, really unexpected because in some cases I reviewed some of these where it was underwhelming or it was kind of tinny the way the music was coming from it. Not the case with these. They sound great. Now, from a fitness and comfort, I have to say that even right out of the box, this specific gel and this specific piece fit me well in both of my ears. So, wore them, didn't have a problem. They felt really good. Um, I didn't suffer any fatigue. They're balanced well, so I didn't feel kind of any heavy weight. And because they really don't lean to the back or to the front, but they actually um, are the kind that kind of are weighted forward, it felt uh, really good in my ear. And I didn't have a problem wearing them ex for extended periods. It didn't he hurt my uh, ears um, after after using them either. I uh, used them on a run and also used them in a cross, CrossFit type uh, workout and they didn't fall out um, specifically with this specific model but again you do have the flexibility to use any of these other pieces to make sure that you have a secure fit. So one thing I wanted to mention was about the battery. 60 milliamp hour battery takes an hour to charge, 120 hours to standby and overall I've had a, a good experience with these. The price point is of a one around 166 to 249 I say that because I've seen them on different places for different prices but on average the uh, the ones that we've been looking at uh, are around 249 So if you can get these for under 200 I think it's a good buy given the base, given the audio quality and also the extended battery life and how you can extend it with this uh, specific solution. So this concludes my review of the Elwin Fit True Wireless Earbuds. If you have any comments or questions about the product, leave it in the comment area below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to share and subscribe.